Hello everyone. Welcome to Toti Toot. In this session, we will see the questions from the TSSPDCL Assistant Engineer exam. Okay. So these are measurement questions. In all the other videos also, we will explain all the other subjects also. Okay. Circuits, measurements, power systems, machines, power electronics. All these subjects we will be explaining today only. Okay. See the first question. The to measure. The total power on a three-phase system supplying a balanced load, 2 watt meter reads 7.5 kilowatt and minus 1.5 kilowatt respectively. The total power is, okay. So, they have given to measure some power, okay. So, they have used two watt meter method, two watt meter method. So, and what it is reading? So, it is reading 7.5 kilowatt and minus 1.5 kilowatt. These two are the watt meter readings. What is the total power they are asking? Total power equal to watt meter 1 reading plus watt meter 2 reading okay so that's it directly we will get 7.5 plus minus 1.5 means 7.5 minus 1.5 that is 6 kilowatt okay that is the answer for us okay so you, anyway you see one thing so you may get doubt how second watt meter will read the negative value means generally it will not read negative okay generally it will not read negative whenever power factor angle phi is between 60 degree to 90 degree okay 60 degree to 90 degree then second watt meter will get reading will be negative second watt meter reading will be negative at that time it want to deflect in the negative direction but it is not possible that's why we have to do reverse the terminals okay so potential coil terminals we have to reverse okay so whenever you reverse it will give in the positive deflection only but reading we will mention like minus 1.5 kilowatt okay so anyway it is plus 1.5 will be will be given on that but normal reading it is minus 1.5 kilowatt okay so anyway answer for this question is 6 kilowatts okay the next question is in an instrument transformer the errors can be reduced by okay so instrument transformer they are asking instrument transformers means current transformer and potential transformer okay so how you can reduce the errors so that's what they are asking in any instrument transformers what are the errors present means phase angle error will be present and ratio error will be present these are the two errors most commonly so and you see what are the options they have given using high reluctance score using small small cross sectional area using low permeability material using low reluctance score okay so what is the answer for this means to reduce the errors okay so to reduce the error what you have to do means the reluctance of the core we have to decrease okay whenever you decrease the reluctance then automatically so the operation of the current transformer okay so whatever errors it will be the error percentages will be decreased okay so in current transformer or even in the potential transformer it is okay so answer for this question is using low reluctance score okay so this is the answer okay so if you use any other thing okay so there will not be any imp any decrease in the error okay so we cannot avoid the errors in these in these all methods so but using this method using uh, using low reluctance score we can decrease the errors okay and the next question is a 0 to 300 volt voltmeter has an error of 2 percent on full scale deflection if the true value true voltage is 30 volt then the range of reading on this voltmeter will be okay so what they have given so 0 to 300 volt okay so that is the range of the instrument 0 to 300 volt that is the range of the instrument has an error of 2 percent on full scale deflection you see what they have mentioned 2 percent on full scale deflection this is the full scale deflection okay so 300 will be the full scale deflection 2 percent is the error they have mentioned that means whatever reading it is measuring whatever reading this voltmeter is measuring on the full scale definitely okay so you measure one one volt or two volt or three volt or any volt what is the error you will get two percent you will get error on what you will get definitely on the full scale only you will get the error understanding right that means you just calculate what is the two percent of this 300 two percent that means for 100 to for 300 it is six okay six volts will be the error plus or minus we will consider okay so plus or minus six volts will be the error guaranteed error okay you measure one volt two volt three volt or any any voltage measurement definitely this much of error will be coming in the reading okay so that is what they have mentioned now what they have given so it is measuring 30 volt when it is measuring 30 volt what it will measure 30 plus or minus 6 it will measure that means it will measure from 24 volts to 36 volts that's it 
no need of any formulas and all okay i will calculate a percentage error i will calculate guaranteed error i will calculate limiting error no need of all these okay so what they have given full scale deflection this we have already discussed before the exam we have already discussed in our explanations okay previous year questions we were discussing right at that time we have discussed already this model okay so not only this from the circuits from the measurement from the machines all these almost like 10 or 15 questions directly coming in our exam okay so anyway they have given full scale deflection they have mentioned that means on 300 we have to calculate that's it okay so plus or minus 6 it is so if they ask percentage also we can calculate okay so anyway so this is 24 to 36 answer a is correct okay and see the next question okay so if two if two 300 volt full scale voltmeters v1 and v2 have a sensitivity of 100 kilo ohms per volt and 150 kilo ohms per volt respectively are connected in series to measure 500 volt okay so this is the direct same question only we have discussed already okay in our explanations before the exam we have given some some questions okay so previous year questions we have discussed and this is the question directly it is coming from our classes okay so let's see so what they have given two voltmeters we have connected in series v1 and v2 we have connected in series to measure a complete voltage of 500 volts okay so 500 volts these two need to measure okay if only first one is there what is its range so it is 0 to 300 volts range okay second one also 0 to 300 volts range only okay so but first one sensitivity is 100 kilo ohms per volt okay so 100 kilo ohms per volt okay so for the second one 150 kilo ohms per volt okay so like this so anyway you just observe one thing sensitivity is different means there will be current in the current in the instrument is different okay so first voltmeter or second voltmeter the current in the instruments it is different okay so anyway both having certain range that is up to 150 uh, up to 500 volt total 500 volt means 300 volt and 300 volt whether they can measure this much of voltage or not that also we have to observe generally but these questions are simple only they have given with normal readings only okay so let's see so the 100 kilo ohms for the first voltmeter per volt it is okay 100 kilo ohms per volt total how many volt it is 300 volt for the first one okay resistance r1 is equals to 100 kilo ohms per 1 volt only for 300 volts how much it is so 300 into 100 okay so this much of kilo ohms of resistance okay and similarly r2 value is nothing but 150 into this 300 okay 150 into 300 means 4 5 okay so 445 thousands okay kilo ohms these are the two resistances okay so anyway we can write down as this is 30k this is 45k okay so anyway let's calculate one thing okay so this is just like a circuit now okay two resistances connected like this this is 30 kilo ohms and this is 45 kilo ohms now across this we have connected a source which is having 500 volt now we have to just check the voltage voltage division only we have to do nothing else okay so we will check the first one okay so what is the voltage first voltmeter reading is nothing but so voltage 500 voltage division we have to do 500 into 30 divided by 30 plus 45 30 plus 45 is nothing but 75 okay 75 okay so anyway we will just see okay so what is this calculation so 5 6 it is okay so and 5 15s okay so this is 5 6 and 5 15s okay so and we can just simplify this one so what you will get so 15 we can divide with 15 okay okay let's multiply these two then you will get okay 500 into 6 okay so 6 into 5 it is 30 0 0 divided by 15 15 ones and 15 twos okay so 0 0 so first voltmeter reading is 200 okay so first voltmeter reading is 200 so second voltmeter definitely need to read 300 uh, 200 completed means remaining 300 only okay so anyway if you want you can calculate also so 500 into 45 divided by 30 plus 45 okay so anyway you will get around you will get 300 volts this value okay so this is the answer answer for this question is v1 will read v1 okay so first voltmeter will read 200 volts and the second voltmeter will read 300 volts option c is the correct one for this okay and the next question is 
by mistake voltmeter and ammeter are connected as shown in the figure okay so now what they are asking see the options okay only ammeter will burn only voltmeter will burn away both voltmeter and ammeter will burn away none will be none will be burned okay so let's see the circuit okay so what they have given so generally ammeter need to be connected here and voltmeter need to be connected here okay so in any any case okay so ammeter need to be connected in series with load and voltmeter need to be connected across the load that is the correct representation of meters okay so now they have connected in reverse generally internal resistance of ammeter okay so ammeter it will be very low okay so very low resistance okay so very low resistance for the ideal ammeter it will be a zero ohms okay so for the ideal ammeters it will be zero ohms now for the voltmeter what is the internal resistance voltmeter of internal resistance okay so resistance it is voltmeter internal resistance it is very high okay so generally so these two we have to know okay so these are simple only so very high and ideally what is this value means infinity ohms okay so this is the value so you see one thing this voltmeter we have connected in series means there will not be in, there will not be any current going through the load why means it is having very high resistance that's why very less current or almost zero current will flow through the am voltmeter okay so voltmeter is safe no problem for this voltmeter but you see ammeter is connected across this one ammeter is connected across this one which is having very less resistance almost like zero resistance okay so it is like zero resistance okay zero ohms of resistance so it is short circuit so whatever supply we have connected that will the, the current flow will be through the ammeter only so ammeter will face more current and load will not face any current okay so anyway ammeter is having very high current means it will will it will be definitely burnt okay so that's why answer for this question is only ammeter will burn okay that is the answer for this question okay so next question two watt meters connected to measure the power in a three phase balanced delta connected load read w1 is equals to 12 kilowatt w2 is equals to 15 kilowatt respectively if the same load is reconnected in star then watt meters will be reading okay so whenever you are converting a delta to star connection okay load we are converting into delta to star connection then their watt meter readings will be divided by 3 okay so first watt meter reading in divided by 3 means 12 divided by 3 4 15 divided by 3 is 5 okay so answer for this question is 4 kilowatt and 5 kilowatt okay so answer is b okay so these are all measurement questions okay so within short time we will upload even other video other subject videos also so all the questions will be covered in these sessions as soon as possible okay thank you so much